going to take you back in time, not to the distant past, but a world very different from today. It's a 10 year journey, an awakening over time where my analog life met the digital world. It starts here in 1996, my life BT, before technology. There are five television channels, there's a video recorder, one channel, and Google were my books. But there was what you might call technology in my workplace, and it led extricably to where we are today, and that's the journey that I want to share with you. Uh, this is a prompt desk, and although there are now buttons, where there are buttons and there are switches, things now today are programmable, but essentially the skills I learned then are the same skills I use today. It's just the technology has changed. So how did I need to make this change? Everything was very simple when it was on tape and there were levers and there were buttons and things fed into the technology of the time. And it was through this that um, I had my introduction to the first piece of technology, the pencil, and how I used the pencil to make sure things were right, to make sure things were timed properly. And this led on to things that looked much more technological. We had the DAT tape. And this was an amazing thing because all of a sudden I could tell it when I wanted it to do things. I could press a button and it would sort those things out. And that kind of changed a little bit and we, we moved on to the mini disc and now we're starting to look a little bit more technological, although this was still a technology in the things that happened within my workplace. The next things that came along started to feel a little bit like a round hole and a square peg. And this is where my digital life started to have to come to the fore. And that was because the round peg and the square hole was a thing that you all know today as the USB. Until this point, everything that I use connected to all the bits of technology through phonos, a round peg, now a square hole. And I had to get things off of technology MP3s, and this was not a hole I was familiar with. <laughs> this hole changed my life. I had to take things that were in one medium and move them on to another medium. It would have been very, very easy if CD rewriters had been invented earlier, but if you look at your history, which this isn't a talk about, CD rewriters didn't help people transfer technology. So this was what I was using at this point, and this is what I was happy with. This is what I was familiar with. This is what I was doing call sheets and cue sheets. And my technology understanding was evolving bit by bit. I had a mobile phone. Uh, this is actually my first mobile phone. And this um, evolved from what I um, fondly called the 20 pence piece, which was in my pocket before this time. And there was text messages, but at the time, people really didn't know what they were. Didn't even know if it would catch on. And storage, I really didn't think I would ever fill up two discs, let alone have to carry two discs around with me. But there did come a time when I had to start learning. And I actually started learning through just the magazines that were around. I needed to be able to use this technology. And I was just learning as things came up. So I learned about Windows, I learnt about computers, I learnt about the computer stuff that I needed, and then this thing called Web 2.0 emerged. And at this point, I was reading these magazines, half of it made sense, half of it didn't, but gradually as I went back and reread them, things started to make sense. But at this point, technology and my digital life completely flipped, and I was working as a virtual stage manager for Pilot Theatre in Second Life. And I built a building and all this digital stuff just became the 3D manifestation of what was on the internet. So my question is, tools of your trade or the technology of things, and when did technology for you be identified as what is now the technology of things? We all have a story, and it's that story that I'm really interested in. So I'm at PCM Creative on Twitter. And I'm also trying to start my YouTube channel, so please subscribe to Karen Lyon PCM. Thank you very much.